Um, at this time, we're going to have baptism of Melanie Rivera. And I would like to invite Melanie's friends and um, her family to come up front so you can have a, um, I'm not going to say a front row seat because you're going to be sitting down, but a front row view of her baptism. So family and friends, please come up. You know, Melanie, <clears throat> Melanie is such a treasure. Melanie, um, growing up, um, has loved Jesus all of her life. And she has desired a relationship with God. She sought a relationship with God. Um, and, and so when she, Melanie came to me, uh, a few months ago and asked for Bible studies, we just tore through those Bible studies. It was really great. You know, um, she has such a deep, genuine relationship with God and God has given her wisdom and insight and, and Melanie, it's just been a pleasure to journey with you. And a few months ago, back the end of June, Melanie said, what, what do I do to become a part of this family? And I said to her, you, you can either choose to be baptized or you can choose profession of faith. I said, I know your experience with Jesus all along the way has been genuine. And she said, I'd really like to, to be baptized today. So here we are, Melanie. And um, Pastor Phil, please share Melanie's testimony. Melanie um, has written a statement of what this whole journey has meant to her, and I'm going to share it with you now. I was raised in a non-denominational Christian church and accepted Christ as my personal savior at a young age. I stumbled across the Simi Valley Adventist School while desperately looking for in-person learning for my son. He began attending last fall. Like many, the past year and a half has been difficult, filled with loss and disappointment. In January, I felt as if I had reached my breaking point. I could no longer balance working full time with the modified school child care schedule for my son. I stopped working. I cried out to God asking for help. I heard him say, be still. Be still and know. For someone who knows me, being still is not one of my strengths. I tend to keep busy, balancing, and juggling constantly. The thought of being still seemed impossible. The next day, my morning devotion uh, quoted Psalm 46.10, Be still and know that I am God. The following day, while reading my son his morning devotional, I saw Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. A week passed by. My Bible app, Daily Verse, popped up, and you guessed it. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46.10. I encountered this verse over and over at the store, on the radio. It seemed everywhere. God must have known I needed the constant reminders while attempting to be still, my priorities began to rearrange. I was able to have more quality time with my son who needed it. The school became like family to us. God put a desire to volunteer at the school in my heart, and, and then I began Bible lessons with Pastor Jan. After a month or so, she invited me to attend service. On June 26, we attended worship service the final teaching for the month and the second quarter. I sat listening to Pastor Phil's message, taking in the entire experience, feeling something different in my heart. Then suddenly, as part of his teaching, Pastor Phil quoted Psalm 46.10, Be still and know that I am God. While I had so many unanswered questions at that moment, I knew all that had happened led me right where God wanted me to be. 
Thank you, Pastor Jan, Pastor Phil, the staff and families at the, of the school, and all of you who have made me feel at home here as part of this church family. I'm going to cry. <laughs> We, we do vows for our baptism because, in a sense, baptism is like a, a, a marriage relationship with God. It's the beginning. It doesn't mean that we've arrived, but um, it's this commitment to, to God. And, and today, Melanie wants to make that recommitment to God. Do you, Melanie, acknowledge the existence of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, recognizing that your salvation comes only by accepting the grace of Christ's atoning sacrifice in his righteous life. I do. Because of what he's done for you, do you so choose to forsake the world and follow Jesus, recognizing that he's your friend and intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary and that he alone can provide you the strength to live the Christian life and pick you up when you fall? I do. Do you believe in the inspiration of God's word? and desire to regularly study and share its truth with others through your personal effort and influence. I do. Because of your love for Jesus, do you choose to obey his law, not as a means of salvation, but because of salvation, including the celebration of the seventh day Sabbath as a special time of communion with your creator and redeemer, Jesus Christ and his followers? I do. Do you choose to prepare for the soon coming of Christ, ordering your life in harmony with the principles of Christian living? I do. Do you desire to follow Jesus, being baptized by immersion as a public expression of faith in him and his forgiveness of your sins? I do. Do you, Melanie, accept God's last day prophetic movement and desire to become a member of this local congregation of the worldwide Seventh day Adventist Church? I do. Melanie, because of your love for Jesus and your desire to continue to walk in him, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There may be someone here today who um, is thinking about walking with God and renewing your walk with him. If you're so interested, either contact Pastor Phil or myself. We will be happy to um, study with you and to help you grow in your relationship with Jesus. We just had a baptism, as you know, and uh, now is our opportunity to have a special time of uh, prayer and a laying on of hands uh, for our, our baptismal uh, candidate. Melanie, would you please join us up here? And uh, we're going to talk about that. You know, in the New Testament, uh, there wasn't just uh, baptism by immersion that took place, but there was also uh, a prayer for baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, Melanie, I know that you have been a committed Christian. Pastor Jan told me something amazing about her Bible studies with you. She says, you know, and Pastor Jan is a veteran at giving Bible studies. She's been giving Bible studies ever since she graduated from college and, uh, and helping people in their journey. But she told me something interesting about Melanie, that Melanie was one of the most amazing students. Uh, here Melanie has been a committed Christian uh, for years, and yet she wanted to study again because maybe there was something in God's Word that she had missed or needed better understanding of. And so Pastor Jan told me that she was an amazing student. Isn't that right, Pastor Jan? An amazing student. And, and um, so we are not in any way insinuating that your journey up to this point has been illegitimate. Never would we imply that. We believe that God has done some amazing things in your life, but he is now writing a new chapter for you. And as you are writing that new chapter, we want to pray for God's Holy Spirit power on you. Uh, Melanie has an amazing job because you just heard that uh, she is our vice principal for administration working with uh, Mrs. G, but she is also our campus administrator. She's going to be giving oversight to the finances of our school and, and helping us in many ways on this campus. 
And so um, uh, we know that God has gifted her and given her many gifts and talents, and we can't wait to see, Melanie, how God is going to use you uh, to bless others uh, on this campus and even beyond that. So uh, we want to have a special prayer of anointing and a laying on of hands. And I would like to invite the elders of the church to come up here and to join me as we surround Melanie and we ask God's blessing upon her and um, her new uh, journey uh, as a member of this church, uh, but her responsibilities as they pertain uh, to uh, her leadership here on this campus. And so we want to have that special prayer for her right now. Lord, we are so grateful for uh, this a moment to experience with Melanie. Lord, you know that uh, you have uh, been leading and guiding her all along in her journey, and now as she's writing a new chapter, we pray, Lord, that uh, just as you baptized her by water, that now you would baptize her through the power of your Holy Spirit. And as we lay our hands on her, Lord, we just ask and pray that you would anoint her, that she would uh, understand a giftedness in service that her spiritual gifts would become even more apparent as she seeks to use them to grow her personal experience and enrich others in their journey to the kingdom. So bless her in every way. I know the enemy is going to seek to be the devourer and to destroy her. He's going to be like a roaring lion, but I pray that your angels that excel in strength would surround her, would keep her in your way, that you would bless her and, and, and her family abundantly. It is to this end we pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 And so now we have one more piece of business that we need to do. We need to officially welcome Melanie to the family. So is there a motion? Maybe I could get a, uh, uh, I'm going to entertain a motion from one of our elders. Okay. All right. And a second. That we welcome Melanie as the newest member of the Simi Valley Seventh-day Adventist Church Worldwide Family. Yes. Amen. Melanie, welcome to the family. We have a couple of certificates that commemorate this day for you, and Pastor Jan has a bouquet of flowers for you at this time. So again, we welcome you to the family, and uh, we know that God is going to use you in an amazing, amazing way. Amen? Amen. 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 